Hi, I'm Moonwater Silverclaw, and I'm the founder of GoddessHasYourBack.com and the author of nine books. In today's episode, we're going to talk about how witches make their New Year's resolutions succeed. Recently, I was thinking about how witches learn a new ritual to them. When I was first starting out, I had to learn the rituals like casting circle like a recipe. It's a step-by-step -step process. If you leave anything out, or if you get it in the wrong order, it doesn't work. And I realize that New Year's resolutions are similar. So I have three insights for you. The first insight is pick one. Usually people tend to like to do a lot of New Year's resolutions all at one time. They make it too big and complex. It's understandable. You're starting a new year and you're really excited about how you can make things better. But concentrating on just one New Year's resolution, you can transform that into a new habit. So once you get the first resolution down solid, you can think about adding others later in the year. This brings us to the second insight. Don't rely on willpower. Create a habit. An example of this is that willpower is like a muscle. And using it in the morning, you have plenty of energy stores. But when you work it throughout the day, you get tired and the muscle gets overworked. So instead of willpower, we're focusing on creating a habit. For example, I created a daily habit of doing a brief meditation session. What helps this habit is that both my husband and I do the meditation session at the same time. So we have camaraderie and support. And the thing about a habit is that it's just that. It's something that's automatic after a while. And you don't have to make the same decision over and over again to do that habit. It just becomes natural. It's a good idea to connect the habit with something that you're already doing in life. Building it on another habit works well. For example, my husband and I go for a walk after dinner every day. It's just a natural progression of what we do. And now our third insight. Include spirituality in your New Year's resolution. So instead of the simple, I want to lose weight or I want to do X, Y, Z, why don't you think about the gods and your spiritual practice? So you can ask yourself this question. What would deepen my relationship with the gods? Perhaps it's a daily meditation session or doing a walk in nature and communing with the gods that way. Something that you can repeat on a daily or weekly basis. As witches, we know that our path is not an easy one and we need to continue to do our rituals and our meditations and communicate with deity in order to live our true path. And now I will summarize. The first insight was pick one, as in pick one New Year's resolution, not many. Insight two, don't rely on willpower, create a habit. And number three, include spirituality in your New Year's resolution. I'm Moonwater Silverclaw. To go further and deeper, you can join me at goddesshasyourback.com. You can also read one of my nine books. And I have two courses at udemy.com. The first one is Goddess Style Weight Loss. And the second one is Spiritual Solution for Depression Relief. I invite you to check them out today. Blessed be.